What if I told you your iPhone is keeping track of your location? And I mean like, really keeping track of your location. Would that bother you? What if it kept a track up to the minute? Every minute you go somewhere, it tracks it. It knows when you're home. It knows when you've gone places. It knows which route you'll take. And all this information is saved directly on your phone. And you can actually see it. You can see where you've been to even verify that this is all happening. Is that information that you want to stay on your phone? I'll leave that up to you. But either way, I'm going to show you how to stop your iPhone from tracking my location. Welcome, everybody. I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you like iPhone tips, tricks, tutorials, and carrier conversation, please do me a favor and smack that subscribe button. Would really appreciate it. And with that said, let's just dive right in on this so we can go ahead and get this stopped. And you can also clear it out. To start, you can tell Apple doesn't want you to disable this because it is buried in all the menus. And let's go ahead and just get going so we can find where this is hidden. First, we want to go ahead and go to your settings. That's mainly where we're always starting off. Once we're in the settings, we're going to scroll down till we get to privacy and we'll go ahead and choose privacy. Now that we're in privacy, we're going to go ahead and choose location services. I know so far, but no, we're not done. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. You're going to see system services. Go ahead and select that. Now you have a whole lot of options here and it's pretty crazy how many hidden options there are. I've actually done a video on settings that you do want to turn off right away. This is a newer one that I don't have in that video, but if you want to check that video out, I'll definitely link it at the top and at the end of the video. So you can go ahead and make sure those are turned off as well. So now that we're here, we're going to scroll down yet again. We're looking for significant location. So there it is. Let's go ahead and select it. It is going to ask for a passcode if you have that set or face ID thumbprint, depending on what it is. I'm just going to read what Apple has here underneath significant locations. Allow your iPhone and iCloud connected devices to learn places significant to you in order to provide useful location related information in maps, calendars, photos, and more. Significant locations are end-to-end -end encrypted and cannot be read by Apple. So they're saying that this does not leave the phone. It stays just on the phone and it helps with those little pop-ups that say, oh, to go home traffic is five minutes or whatever. So if you're receiving those, this is where it's pulling that information. And if it's incorrect, it's always good to go in here and clear the history because then it'll start fresh and get the correct information. Under home, it'll show you every time you were at home, when you left and when you started. And it does have, if you click into it, I can't show you that because I can't show my locations. <laughs> but if you do click into it, it will show you a minute by minute if you drill down enough into it. What's going on and where your phone's at when you leave, what route you take. And underneath it, it's also going to have history of other places you went. Good news is you can clear the history to remove it all. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. We're going to choose clear history on the bottom here. It's going to pop up and say clear history. Do that. Boom. So now we are back here. The history is clear. So I won't be getting any notifications for a while, but that's okay because i rather have it relearn my patterns because I sometimes travel different locations. So it kind of gets mixed up when you go to the same place for a week and then never go there again. So if you wanted to just stop tracking you all together, just go ahead and turn that off at the top. It will say disabling significant locations will affect many Apple apps and services that use personal location services such as maps, do not disturb while driving, CarPlay, 
Siri, calendars, and photos. So it's up to you if you want to turn it off. If you do turn it off and you're not sure, make sure you go ahead and mark this video to save for later. That way you could go back in and turn it back on if it is bothering you too much and you'd rather just have it on here. It's also a little worrying because if so you don't have a passcode on your phone, anyone can go in here and see where you've been, where you've been going, how long you've been at every location, and everything is trackable. So just keep that in mind that all your information is on here and anyone can find it if they can get have access to your phone or your passcode. With that, now that we have it turned off, we're all set. We don't have to worry about all the information being placed on here. Again, if you decide you do want it, just come back in here and turn it back on if it's affecting too many applications for you. I have some more videos I really think you'll enjoy. Here they are, and I want to thank you so much for the view.